पंक मटी तकी तकी पंक मटी तकी तकी प्रतिदिन मुपाड़ो अन्नो चिन्नन्ना अन्नो चिन्नन्ना बंक मटी तकी तकी बंक मटी तकी तकी कुंडलनु चेरो Mornings are a busy time for this family in Bhongir in Andhra Pradesh. Like any other day, eight-year-old Minakshi and her two siblings are getting ready for school. School for Minakshi is fun. Her teachers are friendly, and even homework is exciting. Yesterday evening, she was busy collecting sticks for her maths homework. Minakshi studies at the Indus Academy in Bhongi. Besides reading and writing, a typical day at this school consists of games and outdoor activities. There are nine Indus Academies spread across four districts of Andhra Pradesh. Where children learn through active experiences, it is a small beginning to address the unmet need for quality education amongst India's poor. The Indus curriculum believes in learning by doing and attempts to bring the outside world into the classroom. Here, kindergarten children are doing a simple sink and float exercise to experience for themselves the concept of heavy and light. With the entertaining children, in the same way we are teaching them. In the same way we are learning a lot. So that the thing is, uh, we learn so many words, so many, like uh, in subject also so many things. But we can't understand properly. Simply we used to buy hard it. But here we, before we learn, we see practically we see. By experiments we do. Minakshi is using the sticks she collected for homework to experience numbers and learn the concept of addition. Ten ten bundles. One, two, three. At Indus, nothing is extracurricular. The lesson plans employ music, art, craft and drama to ensure that learning is fun and that children can understand and internalize concepts. In these schools, there are no teachers, only mentors. Anna and Akka, as the children call them, are young people who are everything a child could ask for. Friend, teacher and guide. All mentors are chosen from the local community. The recruitment process is rigorous. The qualifying criteria is a desire to learn and love for children rather than a string of degrees. <laughs> जो तरीका जिस तरीके से आप आज पढ़ाते हैं शायद अगर ये तरीका हमें भी पहले मिलता तो हमें भी अच्छा होता If mentors have any problems help is just a mouse click away Each rural school is equipped with a laptop and a broadband connection Technology is the backbone of the model and is an enabler it helps mentors keep in touch with their project teams in Delhi and Hyderabad. Lesson plans, queries and day-to-day -day issues are resolved using internet voice chat. Technology is also used to conduct training programs. Weekly English enhancement sessions are held for mentors across locations. Otherwise, near impossible given the geographical spread of these schools. Okay. I don't take any responsibility for this. I used to, uh, if I take tuition classes, I used to beat children. And uh, after uh, attending this, all training classes and everything, in that they had given me this uh, coordinator's post. 
with that i have built uh, confident in me like uh, how to take responsibilities and uh, how to be with children and how to lead mentors <laughs> Setting up a traditional school can require up to 1 crore rupees. But the Indus Academies have been set up at a cost of less than 1 and a half lakh rupees. The school fee charged is a mere 175 rupees. But the quality is evidently comparable to that of any city school. Innovation has been the key driver at every stage of the model design. Every child is unique and has immense potential. At this age, his expression is at its most original. Indus realizes that for a rural child, a school leaving certificate is just not enough. It is essential to make a child employable so that he can create a better life for himself and his family. The curriculum strives to achieve a balance between a child's academic, creative and vocational skills. The aim is to nurture the child's natural talent and to help him excel in whatever he or she is best at. Maybe there is a child in uh, Kusumanchi who could become a Chiranjeevi. Uh, maybe there is a child there who could become an Abdul Kalam. Maybe there is a child there who could become her own mentor. Whose, whose role model is uh, uh, a mentor right inside that uh, school. Uh, so, it, it, uh, it, it, uh, at a fundamental level, it believes that every child has some talent or the other in which she could progress a lot and realize the best in her to come out and uh, be manifest. But what do parents feel about this model? Murali's son studies at the Indus Academy in Chityala, about 10 kilometers from where they live. Despite the distance, Murali insists on sending his child to this school. A core principle of the Indus model is the involvement of parents. Children are at the center of the system, with curriculum, mentors and parents as three enablers contributing to their overall development. Here, at a parent-mentor meeting in Chityala, Parents talk about their children's progress and their expectations from the school. Can the Indus Academy model be scaled? Career Launcher also run Indus World Schools, catering to the middle class in large cities and towns. One Indus World School will support up to 100 Indus Academies to create a hub and spoke model to ensure scale, viability and low running costs. Training and enabling rural couples and young entrepreneurs to run the school as an enterprise is another strategy to achieve scale. What is required is to make this initiative sustainable through more community involvement and ownership. A possible way is to use these schools as community enabling centers after regular school hours for vocational and skill enhancement training of community members. This could also be a definite step towards scalability. I am reasonably sure of many creative ways of making it scalable. And we don't have to necessarily use the exactly same model as we used to set this up. Uh, to scale it to 100 schools. There, there are going to be multiple strategies or multiple attempts uh, at different ways of uh, doing it. Children are today happy with their school. But the need of the hour is to replicate this model across the country. Public-private partnerships could also be a way forward. CLEF 
is already partnering in a PPP model with the state governments of Punjab and Gujarat. At the end of the day, Indus belongs to everyone. It is only one and a half years old and is looking for people to grow up with. I speak Hindi. I can just speak.